Alright guys, how's it going? There was a question on Discord today and it was pretty basic fundamental stuff. So I thought I would address the question and then I thought I would might take it up a next level. So the question was, how do I keyframe the colour of a light? Pretty basic stuff to be fair. So we'll select our light, we'll come in this green light bulb here. And you can see it here, colour. So you can actually animate the property with this little dot. So let's just move along to frame 20, I'll change the colour, I'll hit that dot again, I'll change the colour again, I'll hit the keyframe again, and if you really wanted to, you can actually select the colour, right click, and set keyframe. So let's jump into the render view and see what that does. So that pretty much cycles through the colours. Now if you don't want it to cycle and you just want it to jump straight to a different colour, very easy. Jump into the graph editor, let me just set this up, and change the interpolation mode of your keyframes. So select the keyframes that you want, right click, interpolation mode and change it to a constant. So next time we jump back in, it will just automatically change. So dead easy, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new scene. I'm going to do the exact same, but this time I'll select the light. Now you can see here at the bottom, custom properties, so I'm going to add one. I'll jump into edit and I'll rename this red. I'll leave most things at default. Now if you want you can add in a tool tip. So I'll call this red channel. I'll add in another property. You can see where I'm going here. And I'll call this green. Hit OK. And one last one. And we'll rename this blue. Now you may have noticed in the item tab we now have properties. And that's pretty much what we added here. Blue, green and red. So how can we utilise this? Well let's jump back into the object data for the colour. On the colour, I can actually right click and hit add driver. And it'll bring up this pop up, show in drivers editor. So we'll click that. What I'll do here is, I'll drop down the channels. And I'll select the red colour. Now what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to change the type to an average value. In the variable, or the transform channel, I'll change that to a single property. I'll select what I want, which is essentially a light. Now it's asking for a path, and the quickest way to grab these is, right clicking on my want, so we need the red channel, so I'll right click on red, copy data path. Jump back in, now you have to hit control V, there's no right click menu here. And you can see here it says red. So I can update the dependencies for that. And I'll pretty much do the exact same as I've done the last time. Type, average value, single property, select the object which is a light. Now the path this time will be green, so I don't necessarily need to copy it. What I can do is just quickly change the name. Update dependencies and I'll do the last for the last channel again. So just one last time, average value, single property, select the light change the path, and this time it'll be blue. Now you're probably thinking, why am I doing this? This is a hard way to control lights, but I'll show you in a second. So I'll update the dependencies here. So all channels have now been assigned a driver, essentially. So you can see here in the properties, if I drop down the blue, it'll make it yellow. If I drop down the green, it'll make it red, because this value is at 1. So let's say we put the red down to 0, and we put the green up to 1. Vice versa, we'll drop it down to 0, we'll put the blue up. So that shows you how you add drivers to an actual channel. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be colour, it could be the XY channel. Any kind of property that you can mainly think of can actually be assigned a driver via custom properties. Now I know that's quite a complicated way to look at things, but hopefully this has been of some help. It's that time again. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, peace.